Welcome to London. Well, west of London, because we're at Heathrow Airport. And I know that most of you guys coming to London will be flying in and out of this airport. But you might have seen that there are like a ton of different options for how you can get from the airport into the center of London. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about all of your options in order of most expensive but most convenient to the cheapest but maybe not so convenient. So you can decide how you will best get into the city so you can start having your great London adventure. So let's go. Heathrow is London's largest airport, handling over 60 million international passengers every year. And there are four terminals here. Confusingly, they are labeled two through five because Terminal 1 closed back in 2015. So you'll want to know which terminal you're flying into. But also, when you're heading out of London, it's crucial you definitely know which one you are flying out of. Let's start with the most expensive, but the most convenient option, taxi. Now, there are a few different taxis you can get from Heathrow. There's the famous black cab. You can get a ride hailing app like Uber or Free Now, or you can do a pre-booked taxi. Now, the black cabs are really easy to find in every single terminal. Just follow the signs to where it says taxis, and you'll find a TFL managed taxi rank where you just get in the queue and they will put you into a taxi. Now, you can't agree a price ahead of time. They're always metered, which means that you don't really know how much it's going to cost you. And it could be between 50 to 150 pounds, depending on where you're trying to get in London and how much traffic there is. But it is a classic black cab, so there you go. And it's very easy to get. If you opt for a pre-booked taxi, the advantage is that your driver will track your flight for you and will come to meet you in the terminal in the arrival section so you don't have to go out and try to find them in the craziness of where all the other taxis are. You'll pay a little bit more for a pre-booked taxi, but you'll also pay a flat fee no matter what the traffic or the distance. And once you arrive to London, it's all taken care of. You don't have to worry about it. We do have a company that we do suggest to our followers for a pre-booked taxi, which we will link in the description box of the video so you can book it yourself. Taxis from ride hailing apps like Uber and Free Now will pick you up in the designated area of the short stay car park in whatever terminal that you're in. You can call your taxi once you've picked up your bags from baggage claim. And generally, they're fairly reliable when it comes to getting them from Heathrow. However, if there's a rail strike on or if the tubes or trains have gone down and suddenly everybody's trying to get a taxi, then you should expect much longer wait times and much higher fares for your ride. Now, taxis are, of course, super convenient, but they're not always the quickest option to get into central London, depending on where you're trying to go, because you might hit a ton of traffic, which means that actually taking a train could be quicker. Plus, if your hotel is near one of the main train hubs, like Paddington Station, it's actually going to be cheaper and quicker for you to get the Heathrow Express, which takes like 15 minutes, than it would be to hop in a cab and potentially hit some traffic. But of course, the upside of taking a taxi is how comfortable it is. It will get you door to door. And if you have a lot of luggage and you've got like the kids with you, just piling everything and everyone into a taxi and ending up at your hotel, of course, is going to be super easy. But it's up to you what you do. By the way, do not even consider renting a car to get around London. It is such a bad idea for so many reasons, too many that I can't even list them all. So just in general, avoid doing that and instead use taxis and public transport. Our second priciest option is taking the Heathrow Express. The Express goes from Heathrow Airport, terminals two and three and five into London Paddington Station, right in central London. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to get into central, so it's very fast and the trains run once every 15 minutes. You can pay for the Heathrow Express with your contactless debit or credit card, Oyster, Apple Pay, or Google Pay, or you can buy tickets in advance. Now, if you have an early flight or a late flight, they do run services starting at 5 a.m. and all the way up until midnight every single day. Now listen, tickets are not cheap. One way costs you 25 pounds. So actually, if you've got a group of like three adults, it could be that taking a taxi ends up being the same price or even a little bit less. Got it? But the good thing is, is that if you have kids who are under 15, they take the Heathrow Express completely 
for free. So actually that might work out for you. One other thing to note is that if you are not staying near Paddington Station, then actually the Heathrow Express might end up costing you a lot of money, but also not be very convenient for where you're ultimately going to go. So always check Google Maps or City Mapper to see if that's even a good option for you as it might actually not be. So you might see one of these ticket areas. They sell tickets for the Heathrow Express, the London Underground, and for the Elizabeth Line. But actually, you do not need to get into the queue to buy tickets here. For all of those services, you can pay with a debit or credit card that has the contactless payment feature, or with Apple or Google Pay, which is just like how you can pay with those to use the Underground all around London. So don't even bother queuing up. Just use one of those payment methods instead. By the way, if it's your first time visiting London, we have a free London trip checklist, which gives you everything you need to do, book and buy before you come to London and when you need to do it by, crucially. And you can get that completely for free via the link in the description box of the video. Okay, back to the video. Our next option is the Elizabeth Line. This is London's newest train line and it essentially runs from West London to East London and a little bit to the outskirts as well. Now, this train is great because it gets you to Paddington Station, which is where Heathrow Express goes as well, in about 35 minutes, but also goes into Central London and East London terminals like Tottenham Court Road and Whitechapel. So if you're staying Central or East, this is actually probably gonna be a very good option for you versus the Heathrow Express. To take the Elizabeth line from Heathrow into central London, it costs you £12.80 and you can pay for it just like you would for the tube in London. The line runs two to four times an hour into central London and if you have kids under 11, then it's free for them to take it. The Elizabeth line does work really well for a lot of tourists who are staying in central London, but to figure out your best route, it's always good to check Google Maps or City Mapper and see what it's telling you. Okay, on to the cheaper options. You could book a coach bus to get you from Heathrow into central London. There are a couple of main providers that offer this, National Express and Megabus, and the buses take about 50 minutes to an hour and a half to get you to Victoria. Now, the good thing about taking a coach bus is that it is relatively affordable. Tickets are usually five to 11 pounds. You'll wanna book those in advance. However, the downside is if you're not staying near Victoria Station, it might be a little bit inconvenient. And also you could hit a lot of traffic on the way into town. But a lot of the routes do stop in other parts of London. So you can check either Megabus or National Express's site to see if there's a stop that's closer to where you'll be staying. Coach buses are really easy to find once you get to Heathrow arrivals. Just follow the signs that say to the bus stops and in terminals two and three, super easy to find. Terminal five, also easy to find. But if you come into four, you'll just have to take the shuttle to get to either terminal and get on a bus there. And now for the cheapest option, the Piccadilly line. Heathrow is the only airport in London that is on one of the tube lines. And this one gets you all the way into West London, Central London, and even Northeast London. So if you're staying near Hammersmith, Piccadilly Circus, King's Cross, lots of different areas, you actually can get there with the Piccadilly line. Now you can pay for the Piccadilly line just like you would pay for the tube anywhere else in London with contactless debit or credit, Apple or Google Pay, or Oyster Card, so you do not need to buy a ticket for this ride. And the line runs from early in the morning all the way until midnight and even later than that on Friday and Saturday nights. Now this is the cheapest option at £5.60 for just one ride. However, it does take around 60 minutes to get into central London and even longer if you're gonna go a bit more east. And in my opinion, it's the least comfortable option because it gets really hot in the carriages. There's nowhere to keep your bags really near you. So it's kind of a mishmash of everyone's stuff everywhere. Plus this is a commuter line. So during rush hour, you should expect that it will be very, very busy, but you get what you pay for. Hope you found that helpful. And if you want more tips for your trip to London, we have literally hundreds of videos that you can watch. So click one of the boxes popping up around me to watch another video next.